Hey everyone, sorry, sorry about that. Um, <coughs> um, I'm going to do a load of towels, of mixed towels and socks on the heavy duty cycle. So there's my detergent and let's get started. Got throw a strong magnet there to disable the lid. Very interesting. I found that very odd. You see now, water tends to go in the tray. Water's not coming out of the tray. That's why it mixes hot water with cold water. That's why on hot, I guess, it sometimes mixes it with cold water. Learn something new every day. medium to large wood.
water's mostly hot. It's okay because most of the socks are white, but the towels are not. Now it's just doing many short strokes just to um get everything wet, get a feel for the adapt and sense the fabric. And just um, make sure the cleaning is amazing. This is what I used. I used um, Arm and Hammer detergent and OxyClean. Spin wash, make sure everything's staying. Spin washing and making sure it's main all maintaining balance. Um, I was a little skeptical when at when at first when I saw this machine clean. But then I realized that um, even though it doesn't fill, even though the, some clothes are on top, it does have in two minutes, in a minute or two, um, the clothes the clothes would have um, like the clothes on top would be on the bottom, and the clothes on the bottom would be on top. So it definitely energy efficiently cleans. I really like this machine. hearing a lot of like kind of like squeaking and just odd sounds lately coming from like I'm not sure if it's the bearings or what but it's kind of odd The only, pretty much the only problem we've had with this washer is that sometimes, well this is on pretty much all HE washers, but sometimes the clothes come out naughty. Thankfully we rarely ever have stuff that needs to be hung up, um, but that's pretty much my only complaint about this washer. Other than that, it cleans very well. I would recommend it more than any other washer. Well, I'll, well this washer, this model is discontinued, but any... LG top loader. Especially, I would especially recommend the ones with wave force. And the ones with water plus wave. Which is a cool feature where if you hold it for three seconds, it adds another gallon of water. I mean, you may have to use it a few times depending on where the water level is. This model doesn't have it, but some models do. I've rarely ever had to manually fill it up with um, water when it, there really wasn't enough, but it's pretty good. Out of all the wash cycles, um, cotton, normal, heavy duty, and speed wash use the least amount of water, which um, really is a shame because those are the most used cycles. And the um, permanent press slash casual cycle doesn't have very strong agitation at all. So perm, perm, so perm press slash casual. casual Use the most water, but the agitation isn't that great, so. 
That's a problem for us. Pretty sure that it's the um if you know what that squeaking is, can you please tell? I'm pretty sure it's the um the suspension rods the suspension rods and the um brackets that squeaking. But if you know what that is, please tell me. Because it's been squeaking more than ever. Whenever I hold the tub stationary, it doesn't squeak as much. <laughs> <laughs> 